Hi, it's Ahmed again. I am back from a different mountaintop today. We're in Mount Charleston, specifically Lee's Canyon. I haven't been here before, but I uh, was uh, fortunate enough to have my flight canceled back from Vegas yesterday and uh, got to stay an extra couple of days with my buddy Mauro here and uh, take the, taking the scenery with a couple other friends from Vegas. So uh, today, the book that's on my mind is by, by Nir Eyal. It's uh, Hooked, How to Build Habit-Forming Products. It's, uh, it's a very uh, interesting book because that's something that's been on my mind lately. I've been really uh, delving into building my latest uh, startup with my friends and now a much bigger team. It's called Yobi. And uh, I've, I've built several different kinds of businesses and I uh, have ownership interests in several, uh, several different kinds of businesses. And it's really interesting uh, to explain to folks or to even understand that in your traditional business, you know, especially one where you have product market fit, you understand what you're selling, the value prop, it's all very, very clear. Um, you know, you just, you just build things that make money, right? And uh, they, they provide a great lifestyle business and I would highly recommend lifestyle businesses to any entrepreneur. Uh, I know the VCs don't like me saying that, but uh, again, to my friends who are entrepreneurs, I'd say build a lifestyle business because uh, you know a lot of pe a lot of people aren't going into business to just build the biggest thing ever. But once you've got your lifestyle covered, like if you're okay, you know, um, then yeah, to you know shoot for the moons, um, moons because obviously you're already on Mars, right? or some other planet with multiple moons. So, uh, hooked, how to build habit-forming products. It's good and bad. It's good because it's just a, such an interesting book. Uh, it's so much about human psychology goes into your random Facebook app, right? Or uh, things that make you watch a video. So I know that if I had multiple camera angles and uh, you know the camera was cutting every three to five seconds, you'd watch this video longer. Uh, there are other things, other tricks that you can do, editing tricks that you can do that basically um, that basically decompile how your brain works and keeps your attention on the video. Uh, I purposefully don't do that. You're welcome. <laughs> so, uh, on building a product, especially one that you want to become like Facebook, it's really important to know when you build your app, how addictive is it for people? And, uh, Originally programmers like me were very interested in that stuff. Now we think twice because sometimes you can have unintended consequences, right? Uh, people don't know how to talk to each other because they're so busy doing this. Um, I, or they're like Instagramming or tweeting experiences instead of experiencing them. Um, but the, the book gives you some of the fundamental breakdowns and after you read this book, if you're not a builder, if you're not building a startup, you'll understand how an app or you know a video or some other thing, some other digital thing is manipulating your consciousness. So for example, I've turned off notifications on, on my phone. So I apologize to all the people that I don't respond back to quickly, um, but that was, part of the, that was part of the thing that I learned, right? That little ding that happens when your iPhone goes off, right? Notice how you pay attention to that. My ringtone on my iPhone is different. I know that doesn't seem like a big deal, but if you, most people don't change the default of ringtones, and it's crazy how much anxiety it causes when you hear somebody else's ringtone that sounds just like yours. Um, it, it's crazy what kind of a bond we start to form with these devices, and it's not accidental. It was designed. Uh, it's not designed with nefarious intent. It's just that you want people to use your product. You want to build something people love, like Paul Graham says. It's to build something people love. So as we're building Yobi, that's one of the things that we focus on, right? Uh, not just revenues. I was talking to my friend earlier today. So it's not just revenues when you're building something big. When you're building something big, you have to make sure people love it, they use it. There's those little cues, those little moments of delight that gets them hooked on the product where they're like, I can't live without this, right? Uh, especially when you're doing things like productivity tools or business tools like Yobi is. Uh, and as you see that usage skyrocket, you know you've got something. You know you have product market fit. And once you have that, most of the times you can figure out how to make money off of it. So a lot of people didn't understand uh, why Facebook that didn't make money was worth so much. I think today, nobody's gonna tell you that Facebook's not worth anything. It's worth a lot, because they understood the fundamental principles of what they were going after. Or Google, for example. 
Google built this great product that got everybody hooked, right? They changed, they changed the arena, and then they bought this other company, uh, DoubleClick. They stuck it onto Google, and now they just pretty much print money. Um, so yeah, if you're trying to go for one of the moonshots, you know, reading, reading this book, or at least understanding the principles of this book, understanding how people think, uh, what gets them hooked, what gets your users coming back over and over, what gets your users sharing, um, those are the things that you really need to know. And even if you're just like a normal person and you wanna know why you're so damn addicted to your phone and what some of the things, you are, uh, things there are that you can do, uh, for example, Apple introduced their, uh, uh, their app that regulates how much time you spend on your phone. It's actually a really good app. It turns off notifications because, uh, believe it or not, notifications are how your phone really gets you. That little ding, that little beep, or if you have apps like OfferUp that does the cha-ching every time you know, a message comes in, it's just a fun sound to listen to, right? It doesn't sound like a big deal, but man, it, it, it makes millions and millions of dollars for companies. So if you get a chance, please check out the book uh, Hooked or uh, audiobook. I, I love doing the audible version of it. And yeah, it's one of the many books that I have listened to and read that, uh, that have been memorable. And it's very useful, especially if you're an entrepreneur. All right, have a good one, bye.